In stage 119, we're going to start adding more panels, and for that, you're going to need first of all to cut three millimeter strips of wood and then glue them to the bottom and then fold them as per step one in your instructions. Then you need to get the fuselage plates as shown in step two of your instructions. Okay, and then after that, start applying the panels as you've done before to the sides of the fuselage, okay? And that completes this stage. In stage 120, you're going to be doing some detail to the bottom of the nose section. So first of all, you need to get some 3 by 3 millimeter strips and cut those pieces to fit the lower of the nose as shown in step one of your instructions. Once you've done that, you need to get the fuselage plate from stage 86 and then lay that down the center. Once you've done that, you then need to get the parts from the underside from stages 115 and 116 and then bend those as well as you can okay to the outside of the fuselage once you've done that you then need to get the tail plates and then fit the tail plates okay to the underside and onto the tops and then you use the small infills that also go inside in step six which we're going to be doing next we're going to be adding two parts to the bottom of the wing section As you can see here in step six, we've got the two plates, okay, from stage 82, and we've got a spider nut in each of those, and making sure that they're flat, we've got put the rod against those, and we've also put some reinforcement strips on the inside as shown in step seven. Once you've done that, you then need to file out the holes, okay, for the spiders on step eight. And then next, as per instructions on steps 9 and 10 we're going to add the plate okay so once we've done that we'll add that plate and then we'll add the two leading edge plates as well okay Now once you've done that and you've added your plates, you can then start using the details on both sides of the wings using the frets as shown in steps 11, 12, 13 and 14 and that completes this stage. In this stage we're going to be fitting the survey unit for the undercarriage and if you've decided not to go ahead with the servo pack then move straight on to step 7. Start off with take the base that we carried out earlier and fit that into position like so. Okay, Making sure that you glue that down nicely and then Assemble the servo unit onto the housing from stage 69 and then screw the motor onto the housing. Next, 
we then need to attach that to the base, feeding the cable through the bottom. In step four, you then need to make two rods, one 55 millimeters long and one 65 millimeters long, and then drill two holes in the plastic disc as shown in your instructions, and then start to install the landing gear mechanism onto the servo as shown in your steps five and six of your instructions. In step seven and eight, we're then going to be making the ailerons. So go ahead and make the ailerons as so. And then once you've done that, carefully following your instructions once again on fitting those into position. Then add more details to the top of the wing in steps 11 and 12, adding the top plates as shown. And then once you've done that, we need to feed the cable through the bottom as shown in your instructions and if I move these away you can see where the cable has come through the bottom for later on okay then that completes this stage In stage 122 and step one, take the base plate from stage 65 and add two captive nuts and then add some reinforcements around, around the outside. Allow that to fully dry. Once you've done that, get one of the spare plates that was supplied and then mark out and cut out the bottom of the fuselage section as shown here. Secure that down and then at the same time continue to panel the rear of the aircraft as you can see that needs doing here. Then once you've done that you can then add the plates from 21 which go to the outside okay, and also the plates for the front underneath the nose cone and then test the wing section to make sure that that all fits nicely. Once you've done that, take the door, okay, add the details and paint the door. And then as per the instructions on step eight and step nine, then fit the door to the fuselage using the hinges. Now once you've done that, find the metal pieces from stage 120 and carefully cut them out, A, B and C, and then fit those to the fuselage on both sides as shown in your instructions. And that completes this stage.